Good afternoon. Please welcome MIT President Raphael Reif. You know, I've been welcome in, in much warmer ways before. I, I, I didn't find this welcome very warm. And can you do that again, please? I'll say hi, work. Hey. That feels great. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2022 MIT Excellence Awards and Collier Medal Ceremony. And a big welcome to everyone watching on the live stream as well. This event always offers a terrific opportunity to demonstrate how much we appreciate our colleagues. But it has been quite a while since we have done this in person. So I would like to begin by making sure, and that's how I started, making sure that we all remember how to cheer. We're joined today by some very special guests. The individuals who were selected for the Excellence Awards and the Courier Medal in 2020 and 2021. We celebrated them at the time in virtual ceremonies. But I believe the perfect way to test out our very loud in-person cheering skills is to give these past winners a very loud round of cheering and applause. On the count of three, one, two. That was, I must say, I must say that was pretty good. But you will get a lot more practice as we go along. And I'm listening, and I expect you to get even better, which means even louder. This afternoon, we come together to celebrate members of our community who have made a far-reaching and transformative impact within their departments and across MIT. We begin with the Collier Medal. For this presentation, I would like to invite John DeFava, Chief of MIT Campus Police, to join me. Chief, please. It has been nine years since Officer Collier gave his life in service to our community. His tragic death occurred quite early in my presidency. And I'll never forget how our community came together in that moment. We were truly one MIT. In presenting the Collier Medal, we take a moment to remember Sean's and Sean's wonderful spirit and dedication, and to celebrate his enduring place in our hearts. In his memory, we award the Collier Medal to an unsung hero who builds connections and brings us closer together. And this year, we're pleased to present the Collier Medal to Patric Patricia Purcell a program and project manager at CISEL. Patty is an expert networker, organizer, and consensus builder. She's also a career coach, a talented editor, and a skilled navigator of bureaucracies, foreign and domestic. And she dedicates all of these talents to helping others thrive. Her colleagues say that Paddy has made the exceptionally busy Kelly's lab into a close-knit academic family. We have a short video that will show you a bit more about her. Mind in 
to something is if you can quiet down problems. So if you can concentrate on what you are good at and what you can contribute, it's amazing. So my role basically has been to quiet down the external noise so they can focus. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good. We have something for you. I love this community. I love my group most of all. So I think the fact that they see what I do makes a huge difference to me. And I really love that MIT recognizes behind the scenes work because when you do that, you kind of reinforce to do good things. And the fact that you were given this award speaks volumes of who you are and your character. So on behalf of the MIT Police Department, on behalf of Sean Collier's family, and the MIT community, congratulations. Oh, thank you. I was an uh, immigrant, graduate student myself, postdoc myself, and faculty. So I know the whole path, and it's easier for me to help them by knowing exactly what it is that they have to go through. This really touched me when I just read it because it's exactly my philosophy of life. And, and it's about what I feel I do for my group at work. So when I read that, I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I've been trying to do. And I can't believe I've been honored with this uh, amazing award that represents exactly what I believe in. So, Paddy, Purcell, in recognition of your transformative impact and exceptional dedication to the well-being of students, researchers, and all the members of the Kelly's Lab, we are honored to present you with the 2022 Collier Medal. Please come on in. Now I'd like to invite Chancellor Melissa Nobles to present the award for bringing out the best. Melissa. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. I'm not the president, but you can speak on that. Good afternoon. Thank you, President Wright. One of the highlights of the Excellence Awards every year is the presentation of the Bringing Out the Best Awards. They celebrate our colleagues who demonstrate positive, inspiring day-to-day -day leadership, motivate coworkers to grow and embrace change, and provide them with a sense of purpose, vision, and mission. These honorees are often mentors and coaches. And that describes Alicia Macon, Administrative, administrative Officer for Literature Section in the School of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences. 
As one of, uh, of one of Alicia's colleagues shared, Alicia's remarkable efficiency, inventiveness, and poise, particularly in the face of unprecedented challenges, is why members of our community turn to her. She makes the Shaft's community more cohesive through cross-unit conversations that raise morale and improve communications. And she makes the literature section a better, calmer, happier place for the faculty and staff. Colleagues noted that her understated approach has been a game changer for everyone who works with her. Alicia gives rather than takes, leads rather than reacts, yet few of us notice until we are relying on her because she does this with such grace and tact. Everyone, let's welcome Alicia to the stage. Yeah, there you go. Okay, everyone, you got, you got a group to beat back there. <laughs> Our next honoree in bringing out the best category is the Director of Student Advocacy at the, Violence, at the Violence Prevention and Response Office in DSL. Her name is Roy, Rose Poyo, and just after a year of this role, her coworkers say her impact has been enormous. The, of the, the mission of the VPR is to end sexual and relationship violence by cultivating healthy communities and advocating for those impacted. One of, her colleagues, one of her colleagues summed up Rose's contribution to the team's important advocacy this way. While still learning the ropes of MIT, in the midst of a pandemic, Rose has facilitated our personal and team growth, all the while smiling, laughing, and fostering <clears throat> genuine, genuine joy in the workplace. Because of Rose, I'm excited to go to work every day and I'm proud of what we are creating together. Another colleague shared, I have never felt more valued, welcome, and genuinely happy at work than I have under Rose's leadership. I've not only learned about advocating for others, I have learned to advocate for myself and my colleagues. I can't wait to see what the future holds for our team as a result of Rose. Wow, let's welcome Rose to the stage. Okay, the competition is getting stiff. <laughs> our best bringing out the, our, our next bringing out the best recipient is Elaine Ng from the MIT Schwartzman College of Computing. This was the most significant cultural change to MIT in nearly 75 years. The College of Computing spans all five schools. Almost everything about it is new. As, as Assistant Dean for Administration, Eileen oversaw the transfer of five departments, labs, and centers to the College of Computing, and worked with more than two dozen colleagues to orchestrate that transfer, that, which affected hundreds of employees. At the same time, she's been managing daily operations, long-term planning, finances, grants, and human resources. As one of her colleagues shared, Eileen is wise in a calming presence. I depend on her sage advice which makes it easy to resolve seemingly impossible situations. She's always happy to be helpful, even though she is working so hard to make the college a success. Eileen is an incredible leader, making all of our efforts stronger because of her involvement. Let's give a big hand to Eileen. Come on up, Eileen. Yeah.
Okay. Last but not least, of course, our final uh, honoree in the bringing out the best category is the assistant, de the assistant department head in the security services department at Lincoln Laboratories. His name is Robert Boston, and he heads the physical security team. As a leader, Bob combines humanity and ingenuity. His colleagues call him, call him a forward-leaning leader who fosters a supportive atmosphere that allows everyone to be creative in their problem solving. The resulting environment is one where team members feel empowered and excited to be agents of change. During the pandemic, his leadership motivated his team to rise to the challenges of ensuring the safety and continuity of Lincoln Laboratories while implementing changes. Today, Bob's team wants to celebrate him for being a superior leader, mentor, co-worker, and friend who promotes teamwork, communication, inclusion, and respect every single day. Everyone, let's welcome Bob to the stage. And now I'd like to welcome Vice President of Research, Maria Zuber, to the stage to present the Excellence Awards for Innovative Solutions. Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. What a great turnout. All right. MIT is a place that attracts innovators. So when we're giving out awards for innovation, you know the recipients must be very special innovators indeed. And that's the case with the recipient of the Excellence Awards for Innovative Solutions. This distinction honors those members of the community who are proactive and creative, who collaborate to solve problems, and who break down boundaries to drive change. The first innovator we're honoring today is Christopher J. Terman, Senior Lecturer Emeritus in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Chris is famous for implementing early prototypes of microprocessor-based workstations and plug-and-play peripherals. He's also launched several companies, but his colleagues want to celebrate Chris today for a different innovation. When EECS undergraduate office found itself buried under a variety of routine and mundane questions, they turned to Chris to build an interface for Course 6 students. Within weeks, he had an efficient system up and running, and he has since built more than a dozen different applications for, undergrad, for the undergrad office. Moving processes online has freed up the faculty and staff to provide more meaningful support to students. As one colleague wrote, working with Chris has changed my life, but more importantly, the lives of everyone in EECS undergraduate office and every single undergraduate and master's student in EECS, all 1,900 of them. Chris. Please come up for your excellence award. Well, our next honoree in the Innovative Solutions category is actually a team of 28 people. They are the core members of the Building Ventilation Validation Modeling and Improvements Team 
that responded to the outsized challenges presented by COVID-19. This team was faced with the Herculean task of surveying, measuring, adjusting, repairing, and reworking the air ventilation systems, including over 500 air units that serve over 800 classrooms, teaching spaces, and meeting spaces, along with over 1,500 bathrooms. MIT's return to campus could not have been accomplished without the tireless dedication of this team. As our understanding of the pandemic evolved, they met with faculty and coworkers to learn and adapt together. In the words of one grateful colleague, MIT owes this team an enormous debt of gratitude. The work they have been doing behind the scenes is nothing short of heroic. Let's invite this amazing group to the stage. Karen Bowes, Walter De Silva, Lou Berardinus, Jim Dowdy, uh, Bobby Etienne, Sean Ferrillo, Mike Giambioni, Steve Gilligan, Nicole Ember Gommel, Wayne Johnson, Silas Keenan, Monica Lee, Mike McDonald, John Mannion, Jennifer Marshall, Daniel Mellish, Bill Perry, Greg Raposa, Paul Ricci, Francis Salvaggio, Anthony Silva, Michael Smalley, Janine Talbot, Martin Trumbull, Joseph Bella, Alan Vines, uh, Kevin Vernier, and Al Williams. You know, everybody in here deserves <laughs> give those people a round of applause. Okay, now our final honoree in the Innovative Solutions category is also a pandemic hero. As part of MIT's COVID-19 response team, Curran Schiefenbrein has played a major role in Lincoln Laboratory's contact tracing efforts. She was a member of the MCRS dashboard team which supported COVID-19 detection, containment efforts on campus. And she was a key contributor for the website dashboard needed so that undergraduates could return to campus. Curran mastered a highly complex system produced by Apple and Google for tracking exposure to the virus, one of only a handful of people in the world to understand how it works end to end. Her experimental data analysis uh, and perspective are routinely sought by federal officials, state public health authorities, and technical experts. To quote one of her colleagues, Curran is an extremely talented engineer, and that, combined with her desire to make tangible progress on solutions to societal challenges, makes her a driving force behind some of the most impactful work at Lincoln Laboratory and beyond. Let's welcome Curran to the stage. All right, 
And now I'd like to invite John Dozier, the Institute Community and Equity Officer, up here to present our next group of awards. Wow. Needless to mention, I'm thrilled to be here today. Uh, with this next series of awards, we are honoring colleagues who have distinguished themselves in their efforts on behalf of the MIT community. The Embracing Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Awards recognize those members of our community who modeled cultural sensitivity, values, and respect, call attention to bias wherever they recognize it, and support efforts to create a sense of belonging. Our first honoree is Natalie Petty. <laughs> Natalie is Associate Director of Undergraduate Ed Education at MIT Sloan. She is also co-lead of MIT's African, Black American, and Caribbean Employee Resource Group and, the or and organized the MIT Sloan for Women initiative. In all of her roles, Natalie has played a critical part in Sloan's work to find the most effective ways to explore, create, and sustain a thriving multicultural environment. She has organized multiple events and learning experiences, often in collaboration with other groups. All the while, she is an ever-constant support system for students and staff. One of Natalie's colleagues commented that she has inspired and elevated those around her. Many students and staff will make the most of their MIT experience because Natalie lifted them up to a place where they see their value as contributors, lessons that will live with them beyond their days in Cambridge. Let's celebrate Natalie, everyone. Our next recipient of the Excellence Award for Embracing Diversity is Negri Underhill, an associate staff member in MIT's Lincoln Laboratory Surveillance Systems Group. Her colleagues describe her as an outstanding engineer and program lead, but they've come together today to recognize her efforts in an entirely different realm. As a participant in several groups dedicated to improving the organizational culture of the, lab of the laboratory, Negri has effortlessly advocated for diversity, equity, and inclusion. She created crucial support systems during COVID-19 and in response to the outbreaks of the anti-Asian sentiment. In the words of her colleagues, Negri is an exemplary community builder and critical thinker. She is living proof that it's possible to be both an accomplished and fantastic engineer and thoughtful, inclusive, and unifying member of our community. She has had a wide and positive impact on Lincoln culture, and we are grateful to her for it. Let's welcome Negri to the stage, everyone. Like Negri, Ryan Burrow, our next recipient, is from Lincoln Laboratory, where he is an associate technical staff member in the Secure Resilient Systems and Technology Group. In his work, Ryan is all about security, security of technology, but equally 
the security of his colleagues. In his time at the laboratory, he has gone to extraordinary lengths to make sure that the people he works with feel secure and that they are respected, acknowledged, and celebrated. As co-chair of the new employee network, he organized trivia nights and other virtual events to help new colleagues ease into the laboratory culture, a much greater challenge during, during the pandemic. Ryan also worked extensively with other re employee resource group leaders to create a robust support system among ERGs. He has championed programs for mental health uh, and suicide prevention, advocated for uh, transgender and non-binary colleagues, and more. One colleague summed up Ryan's impact this way. The laboratory is a more social, friendly, and inclusive community as a result of Ryan's efforts. I am frankly in awe of all that he has done. Ryan, congratulations on your well-deserved excellence award. I shared with him, I don't know which one I want more, the hair or the jacket. <laughs> Our final recipient in the Embracing Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion category is Austin Ash. <laughs> Senior Associate Director for Culture and Belonging at the Sloan School of Management. Austin's colleagues were very passionate about recognizing him for his efforts on behalf of the communities of black, indigenous, and people of color across Sloan and MIT. In the wake of the crisis, like the murder of George Floyd, Austin has raised awareness and forged crucial support systems. And he has created rich opportunities for discussion and understanding that many of his colleagues have singled out as life-changing. One of them shared this. Austin is a truly inclusive leader whose warm personality makes all employees feel at home. He's able to connect with staff from across the Institute and sets a tone of respect and authenticity, allowing everyone to bring their true selves to work. Let's have a big hand for Austin. Now I'd, now I'd like to invite Executive Vice, Vice President and Treasurer Glenn Shore to the stage to present the next group of awards. Glenn. All right, can you hear me? I have to adjust the mic down. Humbling. <laughs> Do you hear me? Okay, good, great, all right. So this next group of awards honors those who have been instrumental in sustaining MIT. These are individuals who support the well-being and safety of our community, are proactive in helping MIT practice resilience, and act as stewards of our natural resources. The, the first award for sustaining MIT goes to a team of three exceptionally dedicated individuals from the Office of the Vice President for Finance. who are here in numbers today. <laughs> the three individuals are Edward McDonough, John Perro, and Allison Parisi. I can assure you 
that every single decision MIT made in the context of the pandemic had financial implications. In fiscal year 2021 alone, COVID-related financial impacts at MIT were approximately $207 million. This team worked closely with offices and individuals from across the institute, from MIT Medical to is &T, to the Division of Student Life and every DLC in between to make projections, track the implications of a tuition rebate, analyze residence hall occupancy, factor in the cost of a childcare subsidy, and project the cost of COVID testing protocols. Navigating this public health emergency, Ed, John, and Allison met these enormous obstacles with incredible perseverance and creativity. When faced with multiple once-in-a-generation financial challenges, they identified solutions that thoughtfully balanced helping our community get through this crisis and preserving our resources for future needs. I witnessed their skill and commitment firsthand, and I was and remain personally inspired by it. MIT is truly fortunate to have this crew at its fiscal rudder. Let's bring these three outstanding honorees on stage for their excellence awards. Nice job, DPF. <laughs> Next, we honor four members of the Office of Student Conduct and Community Standards, the OSCCS team. They play a sensitive role, supporting students who have been referred to the Committee on Discipline. The team approaches this complex work with care and compassion, understanding that this is often the first point of intervention for students who are struggling in many aspects of their lives. During the pandemic, this team's work became immeasurably more difficult. New issues related to COVID-19, such as non-compliance with masking and testing policies or having gatherings with friends, resulted in a substantial increase to their caseload. But with outsized sensitivity and wisdom, this team always balanced the well-being of the community and that of the individual students. One of their colleagues described just why this team has been singled out for the Sustaining MIT Award. The OSCCS team engages in the highest quality work to support and educate students. And their work during the pandemic contributed greatly to the health and safety of the MIT community. Let's meet the members of this amazing team right now. Caitlin Habel, Tessa McLean, James E. Reed III, and Anna Takahama. With this next set of awards, we honor those in the outstanding contributor category, members of our community who go above and beyond without fanfare, take initiative to solve problems, and share knowledge that helps others do their best work. Our first honoree in this category is Rachel Cohen, an administrative assistant at the Laboratory for Information and Decision Systems, otherwise known as LIDS. Her colleagues are quite frankly in awe of her. They applaud both the remarkable range of her efforts and the unwavering excellence of them. Rachel is both a technical whiz and an organizational genius. 
She not only demonstrates reliability and perseverance, but also capabilities that go well beyond her role, such as her proficiency in different database systems and systems for building websites. One of her colleagues summed up Rachel's contributions this way. In all my years at MIT, I have not seen an administrative assistant who comes close to Rachel, both in terms of skill and dedication. She is an incredible team player. Rachel, please come on up for your excellence award. Our next outstanding contributor is the Human Resources Administrator in the Department of Chemistry. Her name is Michelle Lynn Harris, and judging by her colleagues, <laughs> a catalog, well, that's probably one of her colleagues, <laughs> who believes that a catalog of her strengths would be about the same size as the Oxford English Dictionary. But here's the condensed version. Michelle helps colleagues enhance their skills achieve their full potential and feel valued and respected. She's the person everyone seeks out for personal and professional support. And on top of all this, and against all odds, during the pandemic, she successfully managed the postdoc appointment and visa process for 120 researchers from all over the world. Here's how one colleague summed it up. Michelle Harris is the best personnel manager I have ever worked with. She combines a thorough knowledge of all policies and procedures with a soft touch. She seamlessly combines effectiveness with humanity. She is terrific. Michelle, please join me on stage to accept your excellence award. Now to present the next group of awards, I'd like to invite Vice President for Human Resources, Ramona Allen, to the stage. How you doing? How's everybody doing? You, st you still with me? You still with me? All right, let's, let's do this. Um, this is my first in-person um, Excellence Award ceremony. I know I've, I've been here a long time, but this is the first time I've ever been here in person because we've been on lockdown, so uh, it's so wonderful to see everybody here. Um, and it's great that we had a chance to celebrate this in person this time. So this is, uh, our next award category is in the Outstanding Contributor, uh, as Glenn mentioned. Um, a colleague said of this honoree, she has enriched the experiences of so many people at MIT and beyond. She meets every challenge with a huge heart, an incisive mind, and an admirable strength of character. She is a brilliant example of commitment to service. Her name is Ebony Hearn. <laughs> Ebony is the executive director of MIT's Office of Engineering Outreach Programs. Ebony is dedicated to empowering students from underrepresented backgrounds, helping them to, to pursue careers in STEM fields. But this is just one component of her far-ranging contributions. She is also an energetic contributor to alumni programs, 
a founding board member of My Sister's Keeper, an initiative supporting the success of black women at MIT, <laughs> a valued partner of campus affinity groups like the Black Women's Alliance, and a much sought after speaker on the national stage. Ebony, we are so glad to have the chance to recognize your many contributions to the Institute and beyond. Congratulations, where are you? Next, Barbara Peskin is our outstanding contributor. Barbara's colleagues were passionate about celebrating her accomplishments, and it's easy to understand why. Barbara is the math department's academic administrator, but her colleagues have dubbed her as the department's MVP. Love it. <laughs> math is... <laughs> Math is the largest major in the School of Science, but as one colleague noted, she has created an organized, harmonious domain. Colleagues also emphasized her constant care and support of students. During the pandemic, Barbara adjusted procedures to accommodate remote learning. She also created virtual and hybrid classes that met security rules for international students and I'm sure you all know that was no small feat. At the same time, she developed multiple ways to keep the department vibrant, cohesive, and connected, which allowed it to thrive throughout the pandemic. Let's give Barbara a show of our appreciation. Our final outstanding contributor honoree is Yuko Barnaby. <laughs> Yuko, is, <laughs> Yuko is the executive assistant to the director of the Media Lab. One of Yuko's colleagues observed, if this past year has taught us anything, it is the importance of unsung heroes, those who kept us going in difficult times with little or no fanfare. At the Media Lab, that person is Yuko Barnaby. Another colleague emphasized her quiet, strength, humility, and compassion. She led the ramp down period at the start of the pandemic and the ramp up period when in-person classes resumed. She is a quiet but highly skilled leader and single-handedly implemented new procedures and strengthened communications within the lab. Yet another colleague noted, Yuko has a rare combination of kindness and competence. She keeps the gears turning and makes everyone around her want to be their best. Congratulations, Yuko. Come on up. And now to present the next group of awards, uh, let's welcome MIT's Lincoln Laboratory Director, Eric Evans.
Well, good afternoon, and I, too, am so glad to be back here in person again. And it is so nice to see so many Lincoln Laboratory people here in support of all the awardees. <laughs> the serving our community honorees who we are about to meet have three things in common. They continually work to enhance the level of service they provide, they bring a solution-oriented approach to every challenge, and they forge strong, productive relationships and serve as role models to others. The first recipient of the Serving Our Community Award is Ellen Rushman, the Academic Programs Manager in the Department of Urban Studies and Planning. In that role, Ellen coordinates committees, schedules rooms and classes, shapes new procedures, processes admissions, and keeps faculty and hundreds of students on track. Her colleagues say, Ellen is famous for putting out brush fires before they start. And although her organizational genius is notable, it's her exceptional kindness and humanity that are at the core of her many successes. Ellen brings empathy to everything she does, always thinking of the emotion behind the challenges. She is passionate about her work and brings to every dilemma a wise, human-centered perspective that leads to brilliant solutions. Ellen's philosophy is to cultivate a culture that is user-friendly, thoughtful, caring, and communal. And she illust illustrates the power of that philosophy every single day. Her colleagues say that she is an example of mind, hand, and heart in action. Ellen is the embodiment of what it means to think, to do, and to be honestly, lovingly, and determinedly open and understanding of others. She's done so much great work. Let's have a big round of applause for Ellen. Next, I'd like you to meet Richard S. Hilton, Jr. He is the Associate Dean and Director of Residential Services and our next Serving Our Community honoree. His colleagues say that he has transformed myriad dimensions of the residential housing universe at MIT. In a land of exceptions, they say, Rich's ability to maintain fairness and consistency is no small feat. Rich has worked to strengthen partnerships among academic communities, student groups, administrative departments, and support services. He has streamlined processes and enhanced support systems. During the pandemic, he has collaborated across MIT to manage the integration of new security procedures and to make sure that on-campus isolation spaces are meeting the needs of quarantining students. In short, if there's a way to improve residential life at MIT, Rich is on it. His nomination notes, his success was not only due to what he achieved, but more importantly, to how he achieved it, by developing strong collaborative relationships, building credibility, and engaging effectively on key matters. Let's have a round of applause for Rich. Keep going. Good. <laughs> our final Serving Our Community honoree is Johnny Wu. Johnny is a system administrator at MIT Lincoln Laboratory, where he is equally expert in meteorology and computer system administration. Among the many fan letters his colleagues submitted in support of this award, there was one persistent theme. 
Johnny Wu always puts the success of his colleagues first, and in doing so, has achieved spectacular success. Thanks in part to Johnny, groups 43 and 45 at Lincoln have a track record of exceptionally glitch-free technology development and transfer to federal agencies and partners. And as the system administrator for 120 or so staff and subcontractors, it has been Johnny who makes sure that everyone is fully positioned to work remotely without a hitch. As one colleague shared, Johnny's people skills, work ethic, positive attitude, persistence, and solution-oriented approach to challenges are infectious. We would like to show him that all of his hard work and sustained dedication to people and programs never go unnoticed. And we really appreciate his great work at Lincoln. Please join us and give Johnny a rousing round of applause. Now to present the final award of the ceremony, please welcome back President Reif. Thank you, Eric. We have one final award this afternoon, and that's the brand new MIT Staff Award for Distinction in Service. And it celebrates an MIT icon. In more than 30 years of service to MIT, Paul Paravano has won the admiration, affection, and respect of countless individuals inside and outside MIT. Officially, Paul serves as co-director of the Institute's Office of Government and Community Relations. But you will have a better sense of his true role and his impact if I tell you that Paul is often referred to as the mayor of MIT. <laughs> On any given day, Paul might be representing MIT in vital discussions with local, state, or federal officials, or improving science education in the local public schools, or greeting international dignitaries, or making sure that our Cambridge neighbors feel welcome on campus. But no matter what else he's doing, Paul never stops thinking about the well-being of MIT students. He mentors them as individuals, and he advocates for them collectively, from MIT to Capitol Hill. Paul's wisdom and experience are equaled only by his good humor and kindness. As one of his colleagues explained, Paul is an important person who doesn't like, doesn't act like an important person. He makes everyone feel they have an equal place at the table. Paul, we're delighted to honor you with the very first MIT Staff Award for Distinction in Service. And I hope that your daughters, Emilia and Illy, will join you up here too. Please come up.
I also want to, as Paul goes to his seat, I want to recognize among us the presence to, today of former Cambridge mayor, Ken Reeves. Great to see you here. Thank you so much. Well, now I'm pretty certain everyone is ready to enjoy the reception. But since this is the final time that I preside over the Excellence Awards, I hope you will allow me one more thank you. I thank you from my heart to all of you for devoting your uncommon spirit, creativity, and kindness to our beloved MIT. You will always have my utmost respect, gratitude, and admiration. And with that, Time to head outside and keep celebrating. Thank you so much.